Hello, I'm Claudia Presbrito in the WFT Newsroom for Thursday, April 14th. Here's your news in 90. Police arrested a suspect in the case of a missing priest from St. Augustine. Father Rene Robert was reported missing on Tuesday. Authorities say they suspect foul play after Robert's car was used in a high pursuit chase last night. The driver of the car was James Murray. He was eventually apprehended and arrested on charges of aggravated fleeing and attempting to elude. Investigators say Robert knew Murray through his ministry and had been providing him help and services. Donald Trump's campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, will not be prosecuted for an alleged assault on a reporter. Lewandowski was accused of grabbing the arm of reporter Michelle Field at a campaign event last month. The Palm Beach County State Attorney is scheduled news conference today to announce the decision not to prosecute. The U.S. Deputy Secretary of Energy met with South Korea's second vice foreign minister in Seoul today to begin discussions on nuclear energy and security. The two were co-chairing the first meeting of a group known as the U.S.-South Korea High-Level Bilateral Commission. The commission was established after a nuclear energy pact was reached between the U.S. and South Korea last year. The agreement gives Seoul more freedom in research and development for a nuclear technology known as pyroprocessing. And Walt Disney World is turning toward alternative energy methods to help meet power demands. The resort turned on its new solar facility this week to help shine a light on renewable energy. The Mickey Mouse-shaped solar park is made of 48,000 panels and takes up 22 acres near Epcot Center. It is also an effort by Walt Disney World Resort to help reduce its impact on the environment. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.